Hi everyone, Lazy Fire here. Welcome back to Wolfenstein the New Colossus. Uh, so it's the Wyatt Run. We're gonna really quickly go through this. Uh, 1920 maybe. I was nine. Maybe ten. Uh, but yeah, this is not going to give us anything in terms of new Wyatt content, so we are going to rush through uh, some of this stuff real quick and whatever um this is more of an inner i wouldn't call it an intermission chapter because it's a fun little thing the game or fun i guess <laughs> it's difficult to describe why this is kind of neat and fun or good or whatever it might be can i swim in this no um but yeah it it's one of my, my favorite things that the game does but in terms of Wyatt stuff, there's nothing. So we're just gonna run from place to place, inspect things, relive terrible memories. Are you out there somewhere, Billy? Inclined to this day to endure amongst the living. And uh, of course, do what Ron Paul commands and kill our fathers. So, yes, house is a complete fucking wreck. I like that uh, BJ's dad is, like, hanging out upstairs in this whole thing. Like, for whatever reason, that's funny to me. He walked in here. Oh, uh, this place is a shithole. I don't like this place at all. I hate it. I left this place for a reason. I'm going to hang out in this dilapidated fucking room. Uh, yep. Still one of my favorite cutscenes right there. Uh... Why is there empty beer bottles in a child's room that clearly has met a, a milk carton? I just... There's a lot of weird shit It's just lying around in this game, I guess. Uh, right. So, let's go kill our fathers. I actually wonder what's going to happen if I don't move. Nothing. Well. Who'd you call? I heard everything. Who in the hell did you call? Sorry. I really like the whole BJ just stabbed his dad in the chest after cutting off his arm and still yelling at him. Doesn't matter who he called, really. You're pretty fucked no matter She's what. Here. This game just just the way it does things is so great and just I didn't get a chance to really look out at this it's just man the, the game looks nice it does some cool stuff I, there's nothing I can really complain about with uh, presentation in this game. Hmm. Well, shotgun ammo. Get fucked. There we go. I still hear him buzzing. Uh, 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 uh. Fucking threw it through a hatchet at something with the prompt on this is if you want my opinion if you want my opinion on where this game kind of falls flat it's shit like that i should have a button that allows me to tomahawk things and by the way when you have those prompts you can actually hit e to activate them so you don't have to uh, worry about that when it's like an action. Hi. What? What 
was that? Oh, you. I don't think I've done too many uh, combat takedowns on that guy, on those guys before. But yeah, those are possible. Uh, but yeah, that's that's like the one area I will say the game just falls flat on is that control. Uh, like, you can hit E to do that. That's great. Good. What about the rest of the time when I want to stab someone rather than throw a tomahawk? Uh, sure I can't. I can't stop it. You. Okay. Uh, but... Ooh. Every time. You know, among, uh... Alright, there's not going to be anything different here. Uh, but among... Our, uh... Oh, that doesn't look good. Here we go. So here's a question. Is that woman an actual uh, German or a plant or is she an American who has been Nazified successfully? I kind of wonder that because, you know, you're still in the U.S. when that happens. So there's no reason to think that, like, she is actually a German who came there specifically to slap BJ in the face. Um, I'm going to turn my volume down so I can't hear my game anymore so I can actually speak because I can't talk over this stuff otherwise. But so here's my thought is that BJ getting captured, they had somebody that was in the U.S., like as a plant, right? That's that's definitely what happened. Wow, this, this is not my problem. It stays on. So she's like a plant in the audience. That was meant to happen. Uh, Engel scripted it. That's my theory on this. But the fact that she speaks German is just one of those things that like makes me think that that's orchestrated and is gonna go out to anyway, like listen, uh, your the masses in, weeks, in and after that, German world. They're gonna execute you, and what is that whole is gonna be televised so this is, alright, so I still have the volume off so, so I can think and talk that over that this, um, down. We're gonna break but you the fuck out of look at the, right now. It's kind of a risky look plan. at the, the detail but movement stuff when you? he's, is, like, manipulating objects, and look how it doesn't quite sync up to everything. The hoops! That's, that's really weird to me, and hopefully, uh, people who actually, like, know anything about programming games, because I fucking don't, uh, can actually let me know why that happens. That's so weird, because the rest of the game works totally fine, but it's like, the objects he holds are 30 frames per second, and then his body movement's at 60. Like, you see how it all goes? Like, the garage, where... it's so weird because the animations in this game are so well done and so really detailed. You look at, like, his hands and how he's moving stuff. Even when he was uh, motioning his body, like, right there, he just did that weird waggle thing. Um, it's all so well done. And then it has that weird moment where he reacts to, interacts with this stuff. No one else has that problem throughout the game in any cutscene. And yet, in this one, like right there, what the fuck was that? Once we hit the street, it's it feels like a middleware tool, like something was built here, and it didn't quite work out, like the blink video thing or something like that. Uh, and so, in order to get the cutscenes to load or go from cutscene to this really quickly, um, they had to like do some sort of I don't know. A uh, weird workaround, and that's what caused that. Right there, looking terror, Billy. But like, he's on the loose. Even look at how he moves versus how the guy he's trailing moves. The door and they broke him out. It was There's like a little bit of hitchiness to that guy. That's not there for Spesh. Even Angle Shadow and all that other stuff. Very interesting to see it. I just don't know why it happens and i think it would have been covered in one of the patches if uh if it was something that could be covered in the patch but i think it's like something in the base code of the id engine or something like that i don't know uh he was dead i am now rambling into a cutscene that everyone's seen before uh but yeah this doesn't change there's 
Ich bin dying. A good amount that clearly changes through this game because of the Wyatt stuff. Especially the uh, specialty weapons and everything. But Open your mouth. there's like a good chunk. Basically, Venus, uh, this entire segment, and that's, it. Uh, that's basically it. Where Wyatt and all the other support characters are not really big in the game. Like, you don't get much grace or anything like that. You don't go back to the boat for quite a while here. Um, so you don't really see anything different because of the Wyatt stuff. And that's why initially I was thinking just do a playthrough and show the Wyatt cutscenes and stuff like that. And uh, put that out as like one of, you know, two or three videos or something like that. In the first game, or TNO, uh, the Wyatt differences were about an hour worth of video, I believe. And uh, I'm only two hours into this right now, two and a half. So it's it's not too, too bad in terms of uh, time run because, I mean, Venus is going to be a cakewalk now. And uh, this sequence, I'm, Weeks pass. I'm actually or more. really looking forward to this sequence. This is going to be fun. Because it's one of the again. more difficult fights in the game. And, Theft and, destruction of public and now it's time. It's time, brother. We're going to destroy Fortune. the fuck Terrorism out of these people. Abroad. Hey, why does this judge speak As English? For Why does the judge speak English if there's a turnover day? Do you think it's like... Mr. William Joseph it, it, it can't be a, like... Job description to come face to face with true evil. A thing that they're, like... It, it's not a concession to the fact that, uh... Something as trivial as... Death! Death! Death, Mr. But it can't be, like, a concession to... Sheer death! BJ being English speaking, because like throughout history, people have not really made a lot of concessions to how people speak. You know, time to break some necks. Yes, Hulk out. I love the double swing, and then music. Oh, the music in this game is still really fucking good. Where's that judge? So. No reason not to. Yes, so. Just murdering people. This is really... This is like the power trip that the game may have wanted you to go on here. I don't have any grenades, which is too bad. Oh yeah. Let's do this. Pick up some ammo here, uh, cause I don't have a lot of ammo. There we go. Ooh. I, I still love how fucking brutal this game is. Just, you know, there's something to be said about how uh, video games go over the top with violence sometimes, but this game, it fits so well into what they do. And yeah, we are murdering things fast and hard here. I am just picking up ammo and health and everything I can at the moment because I am going to eventually have to put this down. Oh wait, I've got 156 ammo. Get fucked. Now I've got more ammo. Oh, that's bad. There we go. Problem solved. And let's run in here. Oof. Dog ate it. Whoa. What in the fuck? 
I don't even know what that was. All right, we've uh, put away our big toy. I'm not gonna go grab that again. Now I wanna be a little faster, a bit more mobile. Hold on. There we are. Fuck those robots. I think I've been pretty consistent in my statements on these guys in the past. It's a good thing they stocked up on hatchets before I got arrested. You know, one of the things I gotta say that I really like about this game is the fact that they made basically everything automatic outside of the pistol. And the pistol is really meant to be either a weapon of last resort or a, uh... Hi. Ooh, burning. Oh yeah, diesel cannon. You don't get the diesel cannon in here, do you? And you know what's gonna be really detrimental and actually kinda has been uh, as I play through the uh, the rest of the game. Wow, I didn't even have to break a sweat there. Not bad, I got knocked over. And I still, and stood there and just fired on a guy and still walked out of this fight pretty, pretty well. Um, but yeah, one of the things about going back to playing this thing on normal difficulty has been that, uh, now it, it's, it took me like a minute or two to actually remember like, oh, I can't just Superman my way through all this shit. I gotta be smart and stealthy and careful and all that other good stuff, uh, which I don't know. It, I feel like the, uh, the article I mentioned early on in the thread of uh, somebody who, you know, lost their save and played through on easy and is like, this is actually how I should have played it. What's wrong with me? Uh, sometimes it feels like that's a good idea in this game because uh, it is, it is at times difficult and you do have to play it very differently on normal. Anyways, uh, I've been rambling for almost 16 minutes now. So let's uh, get our cutscene. I think we're actually gonna have to go through. Uh, oh no, we don't need to do this one. Balin! But that's right. I do like that cutscene. I there's part of me that wants to just play through some of the cutscenes that I don't need to because they're really good. Uh, similar to the one where BJ's, you know, robbing the guy of his motorcycle Terminator style, and then driving off and setting off the nukes and everything. It just, it's a really cool visual look, similar to this. I would, if this was a pre-rendered cutscene, I'd still watch this. It's just such a good visual. The way it's done is uh, actually preferable, though, with the in-game models, and then how all this stuff looks a lot better than if you'd, uh, if you'd pre-rendered it. And you couldn't do some of the cool stuff like the turning around to see, and I don't mean cool in the, you know, pejorative here, I guess, but cool as in visually cool as the turning around to see Hitler in the Lincoln Memorial chair. Um, it just, the game and the way these guys move and everything like that. The in-game stuff, just, I always say this in my other LPs too, I would rather games work more on in-game things rather than do these pre-rendered cutscenes. And I know it might be easier to do it because you don't have to manipulate models and create certain details for it and you can outsource it and all that other stuff, but oh man, do I prefer in-game stuff like this to, uh, to pre-rendered. Anyways, we're about to get a new cutscene because Wyatt's going to be in it instead of Fergus. I have to wonder if where his head got cut off is actually an homage to the Wolfenstein HUD, a uh, picture of BJ telling you how damaged he is. It's got that little bit of neck on it and everything. 
I like to imagine that's what it is. Why it's not going to make a huge difference in this next set of cutscenes. So, Everyone in not a big deal. She's dropping it! It. Here at the Kindle we have less than seven seconds. Okay. Ready? Steady, Max Bombate! Grab it! Oh. Anya, no! Hurry! You have three seconds! We need to give his brain oxygenated blood or it will die! Fucking sad. Risky life! I'm afraid it's too late. Oh, no. No. What? Brain activity! Yes! He's alive! Oh. Oh. Wow, man! Oh, this is just too far out there, Seth! The exhaust! Max is right. We should get out of here. The man ready for transport? Oh god, he is taught. Scheiße. This is a I love the Max tiptoeing thing. Look! He's awake! Holy cow! The god of immortal space fish swimming in his fishbowl! Hail, space fish! Mr. Blaskovich, can you hear me? Uh huh. Okay, so listen to this. <clears throat> Some time ago, Caroline obtained this latest generation biologically engineered super soldier body from a Nazi scientific lab. Very, very impressive specimen. Anilin, please show this to him. Look, William, Seth is going to attach this to build the connection between your head and your new body. Anya, Kindle, please. I'm an Nazi family. Come and help me here. Now, oh, okay. Yeah. Here we go. Company equipment from super soldiers. Our fight is found in the field. None of them is working, but I have enough material to fix one contraption. You should decide which one you want. You can choose. Blink once for this one. Blink twice for the one in the middle. Blink three times for that over there. Okay, we're gonna go with the constrictor harness. Uh, because I am probably not going to do a ton of the side missions in this game. Okay, Yingle, let's get to work. I will sedate you now. See you soon. Bring back the cat. I love the space fish comment. That's so good. And I have to say... The, and I've mentioned it in the thread a few times, but the transition from the grimdark, fuck this, it's Nick Cave meets Tom Waits terror, you know, horribleness of the world real. stuff, to the kind of fun and Set. interesting Set. and neat Farm off the wall stuff the that they do later go. in the game it is a fantastic and very necessary change and so i do appreciate that yes you can and it'll be interesting to see how they go into the third game with this uh whether they're gonna go back to things being horrible or if it's gonna be a complete power trip because it would be awesome as a power trip now that you have both the world's biggest submarine with nukes and the Oshmazo. uh oh shit sorry i will murder you Sorry about spoilers. But yeah, where the game ends. I'll give you some clothes. Good. You'll like Send the end of the game. Me when you're done. Mm -hmm. uh, no, have you seen Ketzelet? Have you Where's seen Where's the Gizuin? Where's the Gizuin? Shim Shim. Thank you. That's how I talk to my dog, by the way. BJ dresses like a fucking goon, by the way. I haven't mentioned this before. But man, I don't know what it is. But every time they put him in like clothing in this game, no, 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 no. It disconnects. Always looks kind of weird. It always looks a little goofy. Now you might feel some weird tingling sensation. Not to worry, it's no. He's a big guy. Anything else happens? Got to find clothes that fit him. There's probably not a lot. Your new body, something like this. 
but like the the jacket that doesn't quite cover his shirt and everything. So weird. I feel the same way. I have prepared the contraption you wanted. Put it on. All right. Let's see what you can do with it. Which, uh... Mr. Blazkowicz, you see this opening here? Too small to fit a large man like you, right? Wrong! The constrictor harness will compress your torso so that you can fit into the narrowest spaces. But you have to be careful. When you use it, you won't be able to breathe. Hmm. So yeah, we will uh, see some more of that next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. You see you then. Crawl through the hole. <laughs>